Good morning, happy Bowtie Friday. Today we are going to look at a minimum viable decentralized exchange. It's actually pretty simple solidity code, a uh, little bit heady math, but really it comes down to, it is incredibly powerful. Something very simple can be written into solidity and it can move millions and millions of dollars. Woo! Okay, so check this out. So uh, basically the, the TLDR is a smart contract holds both some ETH and some tokens and those tokens at some ratio. And then people are allowed to swap. So let's say I come up to this contract. It's holding 50 ETH and 50 balloons. I deployed some ERC-20 and look at this. As we go, as I say, I wanna swap five ETH for balloons. Look at this. So we're gonna put in five input. Let me make this a little bit bigger. We're gonna put in nine ETH and we're gonna get out 7.6271. Why is that? Well, it's called slippage, slippage and we'll get into it. But basically on this curve, you'll see that as I go from one to two to three to four to five to six, we see that the uh, amount of balloons that I'm gonna get back is, is diminishing, right? And that's how it keeps the liquidity. So we'll get into all of that. Same thing, I can swap tokens, one token, five tokens, 78 tokens, 10 tokens, right? Like, I mean, there's only 50 in there. So so if I try to go to 25, I'm only gonna get 16 back. You see how this is gonna work. Also, we can provide liquidity, right? Since I have both ETH and balloons, I can say I wanna deposit five of those into this contract. Uh-oh, uh-oh, better reload. I did something wrong. Uh, we can put five of those into this contract and we should see that we get liquidity. There we go, now that's 55 and 55 and uh, liquidity, liquidity is just that much better as we try to make our swap and we'll get into that in the speed run. Here we go, let's go, boom. All right, minimum viable decentralized exchange speed run. Here we go, first thing we're gonna do is clone down scaffold ETH, check out the DEX branch. Pull it down, we're gonna yarn install, we're gonna yarn start. You can get in and you can look at the file system. You'll find your contracts in Biddler contracts and you'll find your front end in React App Source. Those are both packages with, within the main root. So you'll run a few commands. Along with the yarn start, you're gonna do a yarn run chain, brings up your blockchain and a yarn run deploy. And that's gonna deploy your contracts. We'll see them show up here in the front end, awesome. Okay, so the first thing, we, we notice that our DEX isn't working. The first thing we're gonna do is start tracking liquidity. So now we're gonna keep track in our smart contract of total liquidity and liquidity per user, and then we're gonna create an initialization function. That initialization function lets us set up the ratio. So the initial ratio uh, is set up right there in that initialization function, and then from then on, the DEX has liquidity. So we give ourselves a bunch of funds from the faucet. We uh, set it up so uh, we can, let's see, there we go. Yeah, we just sent ourselves a bunch of funds. All right, so now what we wanna do is initialize this contract. We're gonna put in a small amount of ETH and some balloons, and we're gonna create that liquidity to swap. The problem is the contract can't just take our tokens, we have to approve it. So the first thing you have to do is go down to balloons, approve it to take some. There we go. Now we're gonna initialize this contract. We're gonna say we want 0.01 ETH and five balloons. We're gonna hit a button and boom. The contract is initialized and we have liquidity. We can check to see that the DEX has five balloons, but that's really clunky. So what we end up doing is creating a deploy script. So when the contract goes, it's automatically initialized with some uh, good ratio. I think five to five to starts it out. All right, awesome. Now it's time for price, right? Once we have liquidity in there, let's figure out out uh, what the price is. So the way the price works is there's uh, a, the reserves, right? And you'll see that if now if we go five times as much, you get five times as much, you can see how it swaps, but there's slippage and we'll get to that. This is a speed run, I can't explain it all now. Get into the, the article and check it out. Okay, now swap function. So we've got ETH to token and token to ETH. And uh, what we'll do is we'll swap each one of those. So let's see. First, we're probably going to need to, yep, give ourselves some money from the faucet. Now we're just gonna say, I wanna swap 0.001 ETH, and we sit, hit go, and look at that. We, we in, our, in our account, got some balloons for that, right? We put in ETH, we got some balloons. Now, to go the other way around, we have to approve the balloon contract to take some of our balloons, and that's what we'll do here, and then we'll swap them. We'll swap one balloon, and we'll see a bunch of ETH come back in. Awesome, rad, 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 rad. Okay, so we are swapping. Now, the, the, the only stuff left is basically more liquidity, right? We only have a single liquidity prior, provider that did the, the initialization. So we add a deposit and a withdraw function, and that allows anybody to take both ETH and balloons and add them into our current liquidity at the 
the same ratio. And then as those trades move and the fees drop in, they can collect those fees. Okay, so what we do now is we carve out some of the uh, placeholder contract stuff and we bring in uh, a DEX uh, component into our React app. And this is really cool because it has this nice chart. And you can see that as I go to one or 1 1.9 or 2.9 or 3.9, you can see the, the curve shift and you can see how uh, the price is going to change and you can see where the slippage is and you can really play with it and get a visual understanding of how it works here we go we're trying to swap uh, 23 2 2 there we go we swatched two balloons you see how that blue dot is kind of moving along the the curve as we make these purchases very cool see how it kind of slid down that curve oh so awesome so awesome that's just as the balance of balloons to ETH switches and we see now that there's even some extra left in there beyond the five on both sides those are the fees right then we can see that we can buy in with liquidity. We can see that we can withdraw our liquidity. Very, very awesome stuff. It's a minimum viable decentralized exchange. Happy Bowtie Friday. Check it out. Build through it. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up in the DMs. Hearts, 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 hearts. Happy Bowtie Friday. Stay safe out there. Thank you.